You are looking at my most ambitious project to date. I've been working on this ferry for a few days now and I decided that I want to take this to the next level. The goal of this project is to create a fully automatic ferry line that moves between two island ports by itself. Its name will be MKS Ferries, an acronym for my initials followed by Shipyard. I do admit, some inspiration was taken from BC Ferries in British Columbia. In this first video of the series, I'm going to outline my three-stage approach to this project, its main challenges, and what building such a complex system will take. The whole line will contain two ships that will go back and forth between two islands about 3.8 kilometers apart. Each of them will have a ramp, toll booth, and rest area for passengers before they embark on the ship. The main demographic for my transit system will be smaller passenger cars. Even if I wanted to carry trucks, the distance from the main deck to the bottom of the second deck wouldn't be enough. So by all means, these ships will be passenger ferries. As far as the actual embarkation process, each terminal will have a ramp that lowers based on the level of the approaching ship's platform. Plus, to account for the slight inaccuracy of the autopilot, each ramp will be designed to guide the vessel with walls that cave in. Obviously, one of the major challenges of this build is going to be creating an autopilot. Now, I'm not so worried about actually coding in the bearing hold itself, the challenge will be to create something that follows waypoints autonomously. As I mentioned before, there are going to be two ferries servicing this route, so the autopilot will have to follow a series of turns to avoid the other vessel. Furthermore, navigating the high seas is definitely no joke. Assuming the autopilot manages to navigate this massive ship into the docks with immense precision, the next big challenge in the way of logic will be creating a docking system that adjusts its height to that of the ferry platform, because with different amounts of cars, the ship will sit at differing levels in the water. The last things we want to take care of are going to be the information screens that relay the estimated time of arrival and weather relative to other ships. So, in other words, the ships will be communicating with each other as well as both terminals. Finally, the part you've been waiting for, the ships. Now, my plan is to have two vessels, just like this one here, going back and forth between two island ports. They will each start at their port of call, and then switch, waiting for one another to leave. These ferries will be propelled by one large electric motor on either side of the ship. This will allow them to reach a cruising speed of 11.5 knots. Yeah, I know. Not very fast, but it's pretty realistic. For steering, each vessel will be equipped with four thrusters, two for the front and two for the rear. These have a range of motion of 180 degrees and are much more efficient than rudders. To wrap up the video, I want to give a big thank you to you all for watching. I also want to say that this project is still very much an idea. Even though I've made lots of progress on the ferry, 90% of the logic and testing is still to come. So I expect that not everything will go perfectly, but hopefully by the end of this, we will all have learned something. So, if you enjoy my content and want to see updates about this project, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.